Marcus, Mark 12. And he began to speak unto them by parables. A certain man planted a vineyard and set a hedge about it and dug a place for the wine fat and built a tower and let it out to husbandmen and went into a far country. And at the season he sent to the husbandman a servant that he might receive from the husbandman of the fruit of the vineyard. And they caught him and beat him and sent him away empty. And again he sent unto them another servant, and at him they cast stones and wounded him in the head and sent him away shamefully handled. And again he sent another and him they killed, and many others, beating some and killing some. Having yet therefore one son, his well-beloved, he sent him also last unto them, saying, They will reverence my son. But those husbandmen said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance shall be ours. And they took him and killed him, and cast him out of the vineyard. What shall therefore the Lord of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the husbandmen, and will give the vineyard unto others. And have ye not read the scripture? The stone which the builders rejected is become the head of the corner. This was Yahuwah's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. And they sought to lay hold on him, but feared the people. For they knew that he had spoken the parable against them. And they left and went their way. And they send unto him certain of the Parashim and of the Herodians to catch him in his words. And when they were come, they say unto him, Rabbi, we know that you are true and care for no man, for you regard not the person of men, but teach the way of Elohim in truth. Is it lawful to give tribute to Kekar or not? Shall we give or shall we not give? But he, knowing their hypocrisy, said unto them, why tempt ye me? Bring me a penny, that I may see it. And they bought, brought it, and he said unto them, Whose is this image and superscription? And they said unto him, Kekar's. And Yahusha answering said unto them, Render to Kekar the things that are Kekar's, and to Yah, Beth, the things that are Yahweh's. And they marveled at him. Then come unto him the Sadakim, which say there is no resurrection. And they asked him, saying, Rabbi, Moshe wrote unto us, If a woman's, rather, if a man's brother die, and leave his woman behind, and leave no children, that his brother should take his woman, and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were seven brethren, and the first took a woman, and dying left no seed. And the second took her and died, neither left he any seed, and the third likewise. And the seven had her, and left no seed. Last of all, the woman died also. In the resurrection, therefore, when they shall rise, whose woman shall she be of them? For the seven had her as his woman. And Yahusha answering said unto them, Do ye not therefore err, because ye know not the scriptures, neither the power of El? For when they shall rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels which are in heaven. And as touching the dead, 
that they rise, have ye not read in the Sefer of Moshe, how in the thorn bush eth Elohim spoke unto him, saying, I am the Elohim of Avraham, and the Elohim of Yitzchak, and the Elohim of Yaakov? He is not the Elohim of the dead, but the Elohim of the living. Ye therefore do greatly err. And one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, and perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? And Yahusha answered him, The first of all commandments, rather, the first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Yahshara'el, Yahuwah Eloheinu. Yahuwah is one. And you shall love at Yahweh Eloheka with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is none other commandment greater than these. And the scribe said unto him, well, O Rabbi, you have said the truth, for there is one Yah, and there is none other but He. And to love Him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love His neighbor as Himself, is more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Yahusha saw that he answered discreetly, he said unto him, You are not far from the kingdom of Yahweh. And no man after that dared ask him any question. And Yahusha answered and said, while he taught in the temple, How say the scribes that Hamashiach is the son of David? For David himself said by the Ruach HaKadosh, Yahuwah said to my Adonai, Sit on my right hand, till I make your enemies your footstool. David therefore himself calls him Adonai, and whence is he then his son? And the common people heard him gladly. And he said unto them in his doctrine, Beware of the scribes which love to go in long clothing and love salutations in the marketplaces and the chief seats in the synagogues and the uppermost rooms at feasts, which devour widows' houses and for a pretense make long prayers. These shall receive greater damnation. And Yahusha sat over against the treasury and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury and many that were rich cast in much. And there came a certain poor widow, and she threw in two mites which make a farthing. And he called unto him his Talmudim, and said unto them, Amen, I say unto you, that this poor widow has cast more in than all they which have cast into the treasury. For all they did cast in of their abundance, but she of her want did cast in all that she had, hath even all her living.